Hello and good day. Welcome back to Livestock TV. Thank you very much for your continued support for this channel. The numbers are increasing and we can only say that thank you very much. May the good Lord replace whatever you have spent on this channel. Thank you once again. Today we are looking at how to make profit in broiler production. You see, the year is ending. We are inching closer and closer to the Xmas festive season. And people are going to celebrate it. People are going to enjoy with our delicious chicken. And so, if you are a farmer who decides to produce broilers for your customers this in this period, we want to look at how best you can maximize profits at the end of your production. So don't go anywhere, stay with me and let's discuss this. Thank you and welcome back. Before we discuss the day's topic, I want to find out from you. As a farmer, how many weeks do you use to produce your broilers before you sell them to the market? So I want to find out the appropriate number of weeks that we use to produce our broilers. So at the comment section, let's share ideas. Let's put up what we have been doing all this while in order to make our broilers ready for our customers. At the end of the video, we are going to have um, an insight as to the, the, the appropriate or the right number of weeks to use to keep uh, your, your broilers or produce your broilers for your customers in order to serve them well and also make sure that you are making your profits out of your production. These two things are very important. That is satisfying your customers and also making your profits. They are very important. Satisfying your customers to keep them in business, making your profits to continue to be in business. These are very important. Now, the first thing we should know as broiler keepers or farmers who produce broilers is that your broiler should not spend more than nine weeks in your coop. Yes, and I mean it. Your broilers should not spend more than nine weeks at the farmhouse. Broiler production is such that the more you keep the bed, the less profit you are going to make. If you continue to keep the bed, you are going to feed it. You are going to increase your cost of production. And this will mean that your profit is going to come down. And it is possible to even use just eight weeks to, to produce or to make sure that your broilers are ready for the market. So the first point we should know is that your broilers should not spend more than nine weeks and you are good to go. Now let's look at the other facts that we need to know if you want to make our broilers ready for the market for this festive season within some few weeks and also making sure that we satisfy our customers. The first key point that we should know is that feed should not be out of place. There shouldn't be a single day, a single minute or a single hour that you are going to starve your beds. You have to give them the right quantity of feed at the right time. You know when you have you have to give them their feed in the morning, and you know when you to give them their feed in the afternoon. And so when it is time, please make sure that you do not create a gap. Feed is very important, and here I would advise that since you need just some few weeks to produce your broilers, you have to start with broiler starter and end with broiler starter. Yes. 
some people will say that okay you need starter you need grower you need finisher all these type of feed may not be necessary if you really want to work with the nine weeks start with roller starter and end with roller starter and your beds will be fine they will just be fine for the market so enough feed and it shouldn't be just feed quality feed throughout the nine week period and your beds will be ready for your customers the next point we should talk about is the fact that broilers drink a lot of water Broilers drink a lot of water. Under no circumstance should you deprive your bed of water. Except that few moments when you need to withdraw water from them in order to give them vaccina- uh, oral vaccination. That is vaccination through water. Other than that, they should see water at every second, at every minute, at every hour, throughout their stay on your farm. And it shouldn't be just water. It should be, it should be fresh water, which is clean. Possibly, it should be water that does not contain um, chlorine. Or, even if it is from the tap, make sure that you keep it there for at least a day. In order to reduce the chlorine contents before you give it to your beds. So water should be available all the time. They drink a lot of water. And bear in mind, it should be clean water. The next point is that give them greens. Give your beds greens. You know, greens help to keep your beds active. It contains some amount of vitamins that your beds will need. It boosts their immune system against diseases. And so, make sure that at some point in time, you have greens or vegetables hung in the farmhouse. Let's mention some of these greens that you need to give your beds. The first thing I will mention is contumere. Contumere. That is um, cocoyam leaf. Cocoyam leaf. Cassava leaves is also good for your beds. Moringa leaves. Moringa leaves. You can also give your beds um, black jack. Yeah, the black jack leaves. It is very good for them. You can also give them bitter leaf. You can give your beds bitter leaves. You can give them scent leaves. And all these leaves are very good for your beds. It will help boost their immune system and to give them the right or the, the needed vitamins and to keep them busy. Broilers are such that they are somehow lazy. They don't like to move. And so if there is nothing to motiv- motivate them to move in your farmhouse, you see that they are always squatting. So please make sure that you hang some greens in your farmhouse for your pets, your brothers to continue to eat. And it is good for them. But here the, co- the question is that, make sure that you, you introduce the greens to them at their tender ages. At least by the first week, you should be able to introduce your beds to the greens. If they grow without being introduced to the greens, when you hang it, they will, they will not eat it. So you have to introduce greens to them at their tender ages when they are very young. The next point is that make sure that your coop or your, your, your farmhouse is very clean. Yes, and I'm stressing on this. It should be very clean. If your farmhouse is dirty, if the litter is wet and it is full of 
um their poo this is likely to cause diseases this is likely to cause diseases and you may not enjoy it so make sure that your farmhouse is always clean you change your letters from time to time at regular interval to make sure that it is dry and it is clean don't forget to keep your bio security measures in place your biosecurity measures make sure that they are intact to help you to make sure that your beds are always healthy and that you are not introducing any form of pathogen to the farmhouse again make sure that your farmhouse is positioned in such a way that there is free flow of air free flow of air there is enough ventilation in the farmhouse if you don't have enough ventilation this could generate heat and carbon dioxide could continue to stay in the farmhouse and this could cause major troubles for you so make sure that your Once again, please do well to avoid heat. Do well to avoid heat. Your boilers could not withstand heat. If the room temperature is too high for your boilers, you one day go there and you see that <laughs> your beds are not going to ever be ready for the market. You are likely to even lose some of them. You are likely to lose some of them unexpectedly. So make sure that there is free flow of air and there is no heat in the farmhouse. And since you are going to give your birds enough feed, enough water, they will grow very quickly. They will grow very quickly. And this could cause um, major health challenges to your bed sometimes you see that they are always squatting they they squat all because they may not have enough strength to carry their weight on their knees and so what you have to do is that make sure that you give them feed that is that that has good quantity of calcium make sure that you you give your bed calcium in order for them to develop strong bones to carry their weight within that short period and like i've already said because you are going to give them greens it will boost their immune system especially against heart diseases heart diseases because of their their weight and their as against their age and so if you're going to do all this within this short period of nine weeks then you are so sure that at the end of the period you are not going to keep them for a little while you are going to keep them just for the nine weeks and that you have given them the right quantity of feed and water fresh air and you have reduced heat and you've given them calcium as well as greens and you are going to make your margins bear in mind that the more you keep them the less your profit thank you very much for watching Please keep these facts in mind and practice them and you are surely going to make profit from your broiler production within this season. Thank you very much for watching the video and bye-bye.